And the play is called Killer Joe, and it's by Tracy Letts. It's coming to the Carlton Tavern on January 31st. Let's say hello right now to the director uh, with the Chamber Theater in Hintonburg. Lisa Zanuck is with us. And how are you, Lisa? I'm fine, thank you, Dylan. Good to see you. And we also have uh, one of the actors in this, uh, this amazing production, and you're playing the role of Sharla Jennifer Ford. And I just want to say, yeah. this is not my real hair. It's not your real hair. I'm usually blonde with green stripes. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, no, this what? is just for the show. Really? Charla hair. Oh, this is Charla hair. She's mm -hmm. made the ultimate yeah. sacrifice I'm for trying her to role. be trashy. That you, you think that looks trashy? <laughs> People in the grocery store seem to. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks great. And your hair also looks very lovely, Lisa, oh, just to let you know. Uh, Lisa, can you tell us about the Chamber Theatre in Hintonburg? How many years has this been around for? Yeah, we, Chamber Theatre in Hintonburg has been around for about uh, 14 years, and we've been doing plays in small venues mostly taverns and mostly at the Carlton Tavern. That's interesting. That's very interesting and we're going to delve into that. Can you tell us about Killer Joe? What, what's this play all about? It's a dark comedy, mm -hmm. a crime drama about a bunch of people living in a trailer park who are trying to kill their mom for their insurance money. Sounds fun. And it's about how low people will stoop to uh, better themselves and the morality of what they do to each other mm -hmm. when things aren't going right. Family friendly this play, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's got no. a little language and quirky <laughs> sex <laughs> stuff in it. There's a warning. Sorry, quirky? <laughs> yeah. Quirky sex stuff. All right. <laughs> Where's the rest of this interview going to go? Jennifer <laughs> Ford, uh, tell us about Sharla. I'm afraid to ask, actually, about your main, well, char the main character. Char yeah. Charla's a two-timer. I shouldn't okay. actually say that. Spoiler <gasps> alert. Uh-oh. Charla's a Bible girl. No, yeah. <laughs> Charla's a naughty girl. Yes. And uh, it's been really fun and getting the part down and getting the accent and... The whole thing's great, but yeah. she's not a good gal, no. Not a good gal at all. No. Okay, can you tell us about the accent? So you've been doing something interesting on the on the streets of, of Ottawa to, to sort of... <laughs> like you, you can do an accent and you can practice with your friends and family, but they're generally very kind about it. And yeah. um, So the best thing is to take your act on the road. And I like to go down on Elgin Street <laughs> and ask people for directions. Yeah. yeah. And that in seems Texan. to work. In Texan. I'll say, uh, excuse me, sir. Would you mind directing me to your parliament building? Yeah. And is it true that there's a mall attached to it? Because if there <laughs> is, I'm liable to take a run through that too. What are the, do you actually, <laughs> so this is a real thing? You've actually done this? Yes, and they usually are pretty good. They yeah. uh, are a bit shocked. What do they say to you about the mall part? <laughs> they immediately dispel that. Yeah. Yes, the parliament building is not attached to the mall, no. Well, and they I usually give me tons and tons of places to go, and yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's good. Well, they're probably not even certain that you're American right out of the gate because you know what a parliament building is, right? I say build in, though. I oh, don't building? say buildings, Just you know. Oh, okay. That is a distinction. <laughs> Major difference. Lisa, so, th so this is taking place at the Carlton Tavern. Now, for people that don't know what the Carlton Tavern is all about, it is a tavern. Yes. Obviously, <laughs> it's a bar. How difficult is that to put on a play at a bar? It's so different from a regular traditional theater experience. It's uh, much more, uh, it, the audience is very, very close to the actors. It's much more interactive. I don't mean participatory. The audience doesn't have to participate, but they see how the play is put together. It's mm -hmm. very transparent. They watch costume changes. They watch each other watching the play. And mm -hmm. so it's very, very different from just sitting in a dark room watching something. Yeah. And they drink and they eat and dog. they are extremely <laughs> attentive. And despite all of the distractions, they really get a awesome experience, but it's about the play itself, the words of the playwright, in this case Tracy Letts, who's a very well-known actor and playwright, mm -hmm. and uh, they get the words and the text and the play and not all the special effects and mm -hmm. stuff, though we do have some very interesting special effects. Oh, you do? Special mm -hmm. effects in, in a tavern? Yeah, we do. We use lights and we've got some pretty cool sound stuff going on and we have, uh, this is known as the chicken play because there's some interesting interaction with uh, what is named Kentucky Fried Chicken K Fry C. I figure prominently in that bit. <laughs> oh, do yeah. you? Mm -hmm. I can imagine that's that's uh, something to see for sure. Uh, Jennifer, is it difficult though to be in front of a, uh, like in, in this kind of a setting as, as an actor? I have never been as close yeah. to an audience and that has been interesting because sometimes Last year I played a, a wife and, the, and uh, you know, women were yelling out, you know, you're preaching to the choir. I mean, they were sort of talking to me and you can actually see them and they're very close. But on the other hand, it pulls them all in and it feels very immediate and, uh, and very focused, you know. So it yeah. is better to tell a, a story in the round. It's, it's nicer to be closer. It, yeah. is it, are, are people very respectful in the tavern? Oh, extremely. Are they really? Yeah. Okay. 
we've had them riveted through yeah. really? major works of theater. And we get this theater. lovely old man who's never been to a play and say, oh, th you know, I think I'll go. And then they're like backstage Johnny's. They're coming in every night trying to sneak in the back yeah. and <laughs> coming in by the pool table. Well, it kind of sounds like there is no back because you just sort of said that you, you're doing like dress changes or, or, or uh, costume changes on the set. Not is on there a the backstage? stage, but sort of back. Well, there's behind the vending <laughs> yeah. machine and there's a few sort of just <laughs> off. The when, when the actors leave the playing area, they're off but still visible. Yeah. And then when they come back on, they're very much in the play. And that seems to be the audience follows that quite well. Yeah. We're in the middle of the tavern so everybody can see from both sides and they're very, very close. It's very connected. Yeah. yeah. Sounds super fun. So only eight shows though. Mm -hmm. Eight shows and this is happening at the Carlton Tavern. The first show kicks off on a Wednesday, January 31st. All right, so are you going to continue to ask people questions in a, in a southern accent on the streets of uh, Elgin? I think I got that covered. Yeah, you got that covered? Yeah, no, I'm think <laughs> I think I'm good. That, that's an interesting <laughs> YouTube video, though, just, just to put that, that out there, you know. I, I think that would have made great social media. But anyway, Lisa, <laughs> Jennifer, thank you very much. Or should I say Sharla? Sharla, sure. Charla. Thank sure. you. And the play is called Killer Joe, and it's a play by Tracy Letts, and it kicks off on the 31st. So there you go. Looks like a lot of fun. Coming up, how about this? We've got puppets, or at least one puppet on the show next. Daytime Ottawa continues in moments on Rogers TV.